Hey everybody, Steve here, and here's a look at all the stories we're following from the AFR News Desk for February 10th, 2015. Our lead story this week is the announcement that the Gen 1400 Gaming Company is back online with a brand new website and selling all of their previous products. There's Dice Baseball, Dice Football, Dice Boxing, all the games that you remember, and they're back. Right now they're only available as a PDF, but they are working on providing them in a print form very soon. You can head on over to the new website. It's gen1400gaming.com. I'll put a link in the notes below. And you can see all of the products that are for sale. And there's some demos and even some free games that are available. The website also features its own forums for fans of the games to communicate through there. So definitely some exciting news to kick off the show. And we're all very happy to see the Gen 1400 Gaming Company back online. Over at Play.com, they had a limited re-release of their Demo Derby Smashdown game, and the reprint actually sold so well that the first printing sold out, and Keith Avalon had a second run made up, and so for a limited time until March 1st, you can now order that game, and then it will be gone maybe forever. If you've never heard of the Demo Derby Smashdown game, Al Wilson just posted a review of that game, and I'll post links to that below. It's a really entertaining game detailing playing out a match of Demolition Derby. So if that's something you're interested in, be sure to check that out, and if you'd like to purchase it, you have until March 1st. And then finally in the news, I just wanted to point out some really great free web-based applications that are available for us tabletop gamers. There is a user on the Delphi forums, Kurt Lava, and Kurt has produced several of these web-based app programs. Some of them are very specific. There's one for History Maker Baseball, there's one for Appa Baseball, but then there's also some just generic dice rolling apps that you can use, and these are all absolutely free. And he just recently put up a post over at the Delphi forums that has a link to all of the different apps that he's created. So check out the show notes below for that. And Kurt, really thank you for these wonderful apps that you have produced. They're a really great addition to our tabletop hobby. And now let's take a look at new releases. Over at Atba, they've released the 2010 Ryder Cup set for their new golf game. Over at Stratomatic, they've released a couple new sets for their baseball game. First up, the 2014 Hall of Fame set. This includes a card for every player who's been elected into the Hall of Fame, including the most recent additions this year. And also, they have the 1953 and the 1969 seasons now available. And finally, some other golfing news. Over at ASG Golf, they've released the print version of the YLI Golf Course. And now it's time for the question of the week. So last week on the show, I mentioned to everyone that I'm going to be running a fundraising campaign using the Patreon website, and I asked everybody what reward levels they would like to see offered to people that subscribe. And I received a couple of great answers. Thank you to everybody that commented. And one of them was they'd like to be able to sponsor a game to be reviewed. And that's certainly something that's very doable. So I will absolutely include that as one of the reward levels. And then the other response that I got that I thought was very interesting is basically a sponsor a sports team theme for a news show. And what this would basically mean is the person would provide whatever sports team accoutrements they'd like me to have on the show. So I would take down the, the Fenway Park sign, I'd put up whatever banner or sign that they would like to have. If they send me a hat and a shirt, I'll wear that during the show. And then so that new show would be, say, with the Cleveland Browns theme or Minnesota Vikings or what have you. And so that's definitely something 
that I would be willing to do. And in fact, I had a, a great idea that I thought once that show is over, I would contact the a charity in that particular city to donate the items that were given to me for that show and so that they would be given to a, a good cause after I used them on the show. So again, thank you to everybody that left responses to that. There was one other comment asking what exactly I would be using the money for and what happens with the show here. And so one of the big things that I'd like to be able to do if I had the show funded is be able to just simply purchase games from game companies to review instead of reaching out to them for a review copy. And then this way, whatever game I wanted to review, I would just simply be able to buy it. And also, it would be supporting all of the game companies by giving them an extra sale. Additionally, depending on how much funding I would be able to raise through this, I'd like to get a second camera, make the reviews look a little bit better so I could have multiple angles going on, and also I'd be able to do them quicker and not being, having to change out the, the cameras. And then on top of that, I might be able to get some, some better editing software, add some more bells and whistles to the videos, and... I would like to put a, I'd like to actually have a real website for the show where I could host the videos as well as my YouTube channel and, and then see where it goes from there. There's, there's always, there's always new things that you can add to a show, but those are just some of the first things that I would want to do once the show was, was funded. So again, thank you to everybody that responded to those and thank you for the overall positive responses that came. And I'm definitely looking forward to getting that fundraiser going. It's probably going to be in the next couple weeks, but um, I will definitely keep you guys informed and let you know once that's up and running. So for this week's question, in light of the big free agent signing by the San Diego Padres of James Shields, I wanted to ask everybody, what do they think is the biggest free agent splash so far for Major League Baseball? Here with just a, a couple of weeks until pitchers and catchers report, actually I think it's a week, and the fact that I spent all day today out shoveling snow, I wanted to talk about baseball and think some warm thoughts. So. Uh, I think that the biggest free agent, it's got to be James Shields. That was such a huge deal, and I think that that might be the, the final piece for the Padres. They definitely have a very strong team on paper going into the season, and it will be exciting to see what they can do out in the National League West. So I'll look forward to your comments on who you feel is the, the biggest free agent signing in baseball. And I'll highlight some of the comments on next week's show. And as always, thank you to everybody that participates in the question of the week. And finally, channel updates. So just a little shake up in the schedule for the reviews. I'm going to be doing the bowl of Rama from Play.com next. And that's going to hopefully go up here in the next couple of days. And then in the next couple of weeks, maybe a little bit sooner, I'm going to be putting up the Hoops Tabletop Pro Basketball review. And then sometime later next month, I'll be doing a review of Atba Baseball. So looking forward to all of those reviews. And the news will continue here every Tuesday. And I'm still looking into what will be my first under the hood. I'm going to try to get one of those out here in the next couple of weeks. All right, everybody, that's all for now. Thank you for watching. My name's Steve, and I'll see you next time after further review.